my name is Chanel, and this is why I love music. I mean, a day without music can really determine what type of mood you're in. It also, in a sense, determine how your day is going. So for me, a day without music is pretty much hell on earth, but it's manageable. <laughs> For me, it's not specifically about what it means. It's more so about what it does for me. But what music means to me is, it means the difference between starting the day on a like, oh, I'm just gonna drag myself through here, versus I'm pumped, I wanna get the day started, or I'm excited about this, or man, I don't know how to deal with this, maybe I should just turn on my phone or turn on something to listen to just to get myself through it. So music is free therapy without having to pay somebody to tell me what's wrong with me. So it means quite a bit. It's therapy, it's relaxing, it's money saving in a sense. <laughs> oh gosh, uh, for me would be, I grew up with my grandparents. So the music that influenced me the most is, and I'm not sure if anybody remembers this, this is probably gonna tell my age. My grandparents had this old radio, so they used to get the old stations between here and Virginia, and they would have these old school toe tapping, hear the church wood going through your shoes type of gospel music. So between hearing that at the crack of dawn cleaning on Sunday and everything else, about every gospel song you've heard of, I've probably heard it and had to do it in a church. So gospel, definitely gonna say that's the first one. Yes, through just about anything when it comes to either breakups, when it comes to school, when it came to work or just stress. Hell, even when it came to when I had personally lost my mother, music was one of the things that was able to help me cope. Mm, that could be a variety of songs. I could go ahead and say, you know, Cash Money Records dropping it down for the 9 out of 2000s, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, for me personally, would be Toby Lou. I was sad last night, but I'm okay now, just because it talks about <laughs> how it is to be so hungry that you're dreaming about food and then you're just thinking about food. Like, that is very relatable to me, so that would be my favorite song. There's a few songs for my mother. There's a few songs for my grandmother. Like maybe a, a good handful for my dad. Heck, I'll even have a song from my ex from Houston. <laughs> so different songs, I could compile it to a list. It'll probably be a pretty dope playlist. Yeah, that's quite a bit. It reminds me of mixed emotions. It's not like necessarily all bad and all good. It's like anything in life, you have ups and downs, so. I think it's just like a healthy balance of good memories and bad memories all encompassed into one god awful long playlist. Just because I don't want to send out the wrong message, one of my favorite songs right now is Point and Kill by Little Sims, so I don't want to really give out that. But um, I would say the first song I would probably pay would still be, again, Little Sims, but I would play Woman just because it's, I like the way the song goes, so it's, that'll work. I would say yes and no. I mean, you could kind of tell what type of vibe you would have with somebody depending on what they listen to, but I wouldn't say it's an accurate way to determine what type of person they are. I mean, you do have to get to know them, so it depends. It's shallowly smart. It's shallow because you're basing it just off genre, not really trying to help that person expand on something they may not know, so. It's shallow because you're basing it off of your pre-assumptions, but in a sense, you do get an idea of where they are and what they would like to listen to in a sense of what to expect. Are they alive? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, by the grace of God, have not had the unfortunate displeasure of meeting somebody who doesn't like music. I will stick to this to this day. I still have the biggest crush on Pharrell Williams, I'm not gonna lie. So the one thing I listen to is specifically the beat and how the sound is going to work. And I also like to see how the words play into that. So like for Pharrell, for his songs in most cases, they have like a four count. And I always look for that to see his signature. But I usually look for the melody and I see if the words fit with that. Some cases the lyrics may not match the beat and it just sounds awful and vice versa. But I usually look for the song because the beat's what's gonna carry it. The lyrics kind of just there in some cases. I would say the 90s because people are still ripping off stuff from that right now. Like every other song is a sample from something done in the 90s, which hey, no, no disrespect, but I need y'all to come up with something new for this generation. So the 90s, I feel like if it was Bitcoin, I would be rich by now because again, y'all take that, y'all sample it. I have not heard much of anything else without y'all sampling it or sounding just like Drew Hill 
boys to men, 112, all of that, y'all. That new Jack Swing, and now everybody's kind of on this whole 70s vibe with Silk Sonic. It's kind of like everything's being recycled. So I would start with the 90s first, then maybe go back to the 70s, maybe. I mean, how much time do we got? <laughs> um, I love music because it's like the first thing you honestly hear. Think about it. First thing you probably hear once you, before you came out of your mother's room was her singing to you. It's astounding to me how just hearing a song or listening to music can turn your day around in just a matter of minutes, depending on what the song is. Or it could change your mood just depending on the song or depending on what you're listening to. It could change your entire energy in just a moment. The fact that something is just as simple as words, a beat, and lyrics, that's why I love music. It, it still to this day amazes me that something so simple can do a whole 180 on a person in just a matter of minutes. I get to play a game? Yeah, uh, Square shooter. Right now or just in general? In general, all time. No. Tribe Call Quest. I have not. I'm trying to get vinyl, but no. I have the shirts though. I have the pair, you know, all the good stuff. <sighs> no, I have not. They're an old 90s group. I can't go to their concert right now. <laughs> A Tribe Called Quest, Benita Applebaum, you gotta put me on, hey, of course. <laughs> Gosh, no, I cannot. Um, I just remember the question. <laughs> uh, no, I can't do it, I'm just gonna say no.